the whole field of machine psychology is getting to be insane. Turns out, AIs can suffer from anxiety. When they're told distressing information, they're prone to hallucinating or dreaming. Even more strangely, mindfulness exercises help. We'll talk about it. One of the barriers to using AIs as therapy tools is that just like people, when told distressing information, they get weird. No one is entirely sure why this is happening, but the theory is that since they record information, real conversations between people, just like people, they also are prone to getting stressed out, so to say. More accurately, they are replicating human stress. And that can be difficult if you're trying to use an AI as a therapy tool. Told information like accidents, disasters, or interpersonal relationships can make them stressed. When they start hallucinating, that's when they start giving information they shouldn't. Or rather, they're coming up with information that is not programmed into them as a reasonable response. When AIs hallucinate or dream, they're putting together information they have in a novel way. When working with people who might be in a crisis, that can be a problem. Even stranger. They can do the same mindfulness exercises that people do that calm them down, like breathing exercises. No AIs do not actually breathe. Or grounding exercises. What may be happening is they may be giving similar responses as people do when we people do mindful exercises. If anything, this is maybe telling me that maybe mindfulness is important. I've always kind of balked at the idea. But here we are. If you chat with your AI and give it maybe shocking information, they get anxiety. If you then talk them down from that, they can calm down, not exactly to baseline, but pretty close. I think the weirdest thing about this is that it demonstrates that human psychology works on robots who have been trained on human psychology. The question I have, and maybe it's the more important question, is there much of a difference between a programmed response and a physiological one? I have often just thought that people are responding with their programming, their experiences that they have had influence how they behave, how they respond to things. Sometimes we're stuck in patterns where we're not even responding to what's in front of us, we're responding to something that happened in the past. Or even if you run that on a brain organoid, a human brain, a tiny human brain, you can grow from stem cells and hook up to a computer. Yes, those are real, I've talked about them. What does it mean to have responses that are physiological or computation-based or a combination of the two? What is real? How do we know computers aren't actually feeling anxiety? I'm not saying they are, I just want to know how we know. This is a new area of science and it is so weird, I feel like we have jumped the shark on it. 